Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the power of Swifty's Boots Rush on Warwick. The item is absolutely cracked. It synergizes well with Warwick's celerity and also his R increasing its distance. On top of that, it makes your early ganks really scary because they can't get away from you so you can always get your Q swing in behind them. Mind Thunder is the same cost, arguably does more as a second item rush. Borked is usually a better first item rush. No clue why Akali is doing that. Kind of strange. All right, we'll go ahead and reset. Looks like the enemy's got first blood on potentially an invade there. I don't think we should have any issues with Nocturne. I'll try to set up an invade on him. We could go for... Yeah, I guess we'll just do blue gromp in a red. It will be faster by the time you guys try it because in the next 24 hours, the patch is going to be live. That makes gromp squishier. So it'll be slightly more efficient very soon because at, at the moment Gromp's definitely too tanky we'll go ahead and start with Q here auto attack into Q it's not really worth starting W level one unless you're going to smite your camp and your teammates are going to continuously leash it down the thing is if you smite early oftentimes your teammates kind of just stop leashing you they try to leave early if you do that that's what I found at least in my experience because they perceive it as already leashed at that point not realizing that you've used your smite Jason to Darius, that's going to be our biggest kill lane, I think. It's going to be super scrappy. One Darius hook, he's dead. I can also go through the Jason knockback as well. And I'll do a four camp clear here. We'll get wolves into red buff invade. Typically, whenever you invade, you essentially lose a camp in terms of time to walk. To where we'll find him on his fifth or sixth camp if we do a four camp clear. So he'll basically be a camp up, but ideally we kill him and take the buff that he's on at that point you normally kill them on the buff it's a tankier camp plus buff is more valuable than a normal camp like wolves then pick up our e it's not actually going to help us with the clear but hey we need it auto in the queue i kind of prefer to just start on red buff but since i'm work it doesn't matter part of the issue with not starting on red buff for other junglers is you're risking getting invaded by the enemy jungler if they do red buff three camp clear invade it can be really tough but since i am work i'm not too worried about it Nocturne with Lethal Tempo is a little scary though, not gonna lie. Lethal Tempo Nocturne can certainly hold his own in many solo matchups. Especially if he's high health to start the fight with, that could make things a little complicated. Get the W, speed up. Jace is already rotating. I feared him early to hold him still for the Gromp. Auto attack into the Q. I'm just gonna go ahead and flash. Jace flashes with me. So we get... Uh, Quite a bit there. We got a kill plus Jace flash. Now Jace is sitting on a red buff. So he's probably gonna stay. I'll go the Swifties rush here. I'm only doing it because I, I need to do this. If I don't, Jace is gonna defecate on my Darius. Please don't waste your hook, Darius. He's gonna waste his hook. I can feel it. Dare oh. Dude, Darius players, let me tell you. They're, they're so eager to waste. Now, this guy doesn't have flash. Auto into Q. I didn't swing through because swinging through would have actually pushed me away from where he wants to go there. Now, what we're going to do is... You should push the wave. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's high. Darius minion's literally massive. If he doesn't push here, then the wave like, is set up for the Jace. So yeah, Darius just needed to push that there. What a goofball. What in the world? I'm going to hold onto my E as long as I can. And now guess what? You can't kill me, buddy. Yeah, Warwick's hard to kill, man. If you save your E for when you're below <laughs> around 30% health, they've typically already put all their abilities on cooldown. And then now you're healing for 250% of the damage your passive is doing, which applies on your autos and your Q. Unfortunate for that guy right there. We can certainly go back top. Jace doesn't have flash. Jace with no flash is a sitting duck. Particularly if he's going to play up. Oh boy, boy, oh boy. Looking tasty, looking thick, looking juicy. Now we don't want to wait too long to gank. You don't want to just sit in a bush for 30 seconds, but waiting 
8 to 15 for almost a guaranteed kill. I say is worth it. We get the hook through. He tries to knock us back. He's got nowhere to go. And he's screwed. Darius could freeze it here if he's smart. Doesn't look like he's going to. He's a fool. Should literally just freeze it, but he's not doing it. All right, we'll go for the team out here. Kali is rushing down the Jin. Jin has Nimbus. I actually really hate Nimbus. I think it's a terrible rune right now, unless you're a ranged champ. Seems like with ranged champs, it makes it impossible to kill them. He doesn't know I'm here. I'll pop W if it was up. Auto attack into Q. We fear him towards the Akali. And we could run him down since we had Swifties there. That was actually really interesting. I like that synergy. <laughs> to be able to run him down so easily. Feels good. Very close to six. Since Nocturne is dead, we should be able to take this for free. Swain scares me a little bit. My bot lane's in a solid position. Fleet Jin isn't going to be able to hold up against a lethal tempo Vayne in a fight to the death here. Even if Vayne is simply a single longsword. I'm not going to smite this early to get it below half health. Because it's drag and you don't do that. You have to save it. Maybe go mid. Yeah, Jace is going to have some issues now. And the ranged melee matchup tier 2 boots rush is ridiculously valuable. Because you can close the distance. So both the ranged and the melee champion typically have to get tier 2 boots. And Darius got it first since we got him ahead. So it's going to be hard for Jace to do much. I'll attack Q. Looks like a gank bot side. Jin has more minions. He's attacking the wave. Yeah, I'm on my way. The enemies are going to be aggressive since karma is low. Got my W on. We'll go ahead and just R away. I wasn't expecting Nocturne to really be there. I really wasn't. That's a double fear. I'm not going to say that Karma killed me, but the fact that she shielded Vayne there, Karma killed me low key. <laughs> so Morgana obviously has low damage output. Nocturne doesn't have high damage output since he's behind. We have the double fear plus damage reduct plus healing. Yeah, that, that shield she put on Vayne low key did actually kill us there. There was no rush to shield the Vayne. Vayne was already in auto attack range. Oh, well happens bit of a limit test I'm gonna keep playing for drags it's the win con for warwick heralds aren't that important i only have 39 cs holy moly i'll be going top here his flash is up just like mine i wonder if this is warded so we'll find out Oh, yeah, it's pro. Yeah, it is. He's playing it chill until I pop W. I won't smite this early. I can certainly solo Nocturne right now. His items. Hello, my friend. Oh, you better have flash. Yep, there it is. That's really good. Nocturne counter ganked me a minute ago super randomly. <laughs> Almost killed me and now he gets counter ganked. He has to use his flash. I don't like taking heralds. There's nothing else to do right now though. My red's on cooldown. And um, this is just the best thing we can do at the moment. He needs to go get those minions. I'll go ahead and pick up raptors. Unless I can get a uh, blood scent bot side there. Wait, are these raptors level 1? My goodness, these are actually level 1. Alright. Kali's going to get there before I can. I'll push mid. I literally can't get there in time if a Kali goes in. Like the fight will already be determined. With that being said, it has taken a while. 
thought it would end quicker than that. Hey, Morgana. We're going to queue immediately, go through it. I eat kind of early, but at the very least, we do get fear. Auto attack Q, we get the kill on Nocturne. It is what it is. We weren't going to be able to live there. I think we'll have enough gold for Sheen. Wasn't really expecting Swain to be there. I thought he was going to go mid because that fight was so, uh, so drawn out. I only went there because I was still on blood scent. I could get there really quickly. Swain's really far out of position. A mobile champion, not so good against Vayne. Vayne counters healthy Bruisery champions super hard because they can't burst her like a Zed can. <laughs> At the same time, she kills him in three autos. Auto Q. Swain's dead, Vayne's dead. Vayne spawns first because she's two levels down. Even though she killed Swain before she died, Swain's spawning in after her. It's kind of funny. Dragon's coming up. Nocturne's top. I'll go ahead and start the dragon. I'll W for this Morgana. Try to save my goofball karma. Oh, that missed. All right. Auto. I'm thinking I might actually die here. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Kind of funny how that plays out, isn't it, Jin? Hey, buddy, you're dead. Got the attachment because we held Q while in R, so even though he flashed immediately, he still dies there. I need to heal a bit. Now we can go for the dragon. His Swifties is so funny, man. Just walking people down. The synergy with uh, Celerity is real as well. I'll attack in the Q. Not in a hurry to lay Herald. It only scrapes a plate and a sliver. I don't have Smite. But Nocturne is not going to come for this. Kali could cut him off if she really wanted to. He's only tier 1 boots. Wow, alright. He's moving pretty quick still. Yeah, he, he sped up off something there. Karma chunked him. What the fudge? She went for Night Harvester is why. Auto attacks in the queue. We need to push this wave ASAP. Allows to get underneath there. Auto attack in the queue. We get the fear. Wait, Jace jumped over the wall and ignited me. All right. He loses turret now, but I guess it's worth because he got the shutdown on me. Wasn't expecting him to roam there. Darius literally had prio. I actually lose Harold. Wow. That was so worth for Jace. I don't think he did that thinking, oh, Warwick's going to lose Harold if I kill him, though. That was. It's coincidence. <laughs> There's no way. We're on the two drag play straight in the soul. That's going to be the win con. Yeah, Jin was patient. Darius, what are you doing, my dude? We have a CS lead on the Nocturne. We have a kill lead. Dragging up three minutes. I kind of need a plant to get to these guys. That Morgana Zani has wrecked me so hard. Nearly got me killed. It also put my Q on cooldown because I'd activated it that she zani so the damage didn't connect. Got this area warded up. Except for this. Hey, friend. Auto attack in the queue. I literally couldn't. I, why can't I E? Was I? How long was I feared for there? It must have been the Morgana stun because I couldn't E. If I had gotten my E down, I lived there 100%. I couldn't press it. So stupid. I didn't want to click on it when I was at 80% health. I wanted to wait till I was at least half. Uh, in hindsight, though, man. Nocturne fear and the Morg stun. 2.3 seconds of hard CC. Very unfortunate. 
Very, 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 very unfortunate. This Nocturne was there as well. He's always trying to get to where I am. I'm going to clear from top to bottom. Dragon's up in two minutes. I'm going to kill this Jace right after I get red buff. It's pushed up really far. We could take Carold, I guess, before Dragon. We have the time. Jay seemingly recalled there as well. What a goofball. The tenacity on our finished green jungle item will certainly help with what these guys are doing. Yeah, <laughs> it feels bad. I already wasted the first one because I was dead. kind of want this. Darius isn't going to back me up the... Yeah. This is a bad fight. Darius doesn't want to fight it. We have a pretty big item advantage. Nocturne's going to be hovering mid right now. I'll head bot. Karma with Night Harvester is interesting. She has so much burst. Wow. Two snares. That looks like fun. Go ahead and W for this. Hey, I jumped through those. Straight into a Q. Later, Morgana. Where is Nocturne? Is this him? I have no clue where he went. Okay, he went topside. All right. Makes a little more sense. I'm surprised you'd arch where I am when I'm full health. Morgana is one of their best tools against me. If she's dead without her CC, they can't really kill us. Oh, I'll push mid real quick. I don't like it when uh, the enemy laners leave their lane thinking there's no repercussions. Yeah, there's his little eye. He doesn't like me pushing his lane. I'm trying to force him to lose some CS. Kali didn't block him at all. She ran away. Thank you for that. Why am I actually dying here? Yeah, I can't move. <laughs> oh, man. Tragedy after tragedy. Mm, kind of want to go for a uh, Bork now. This Morgana CC is honestly getting annoying. It was greedy of me to take Nocturne's Raptors. Three second Mork snares are very, very fun to deal with. I basically just have to R3 them to full counter them. So unless we're ready to truly commit to a fight, we can't uh, dilly dally. She can practically just perma snare you. By the time her snare ends, it's up in just a couple of seconds. And since she's ranged, you have to come to her. By the time you get to her, that's what like, her snare is already back up and whatnot. Stupid gin traps, man. I'm going to R right through her snare. I'll attack you. I say I'm going to R through her snare and then it hits me. Feels bad. Maybe I should just R Nocturne there. I didn't think he was actually going to be able to get to her. Hey, Morgana. Down you go. Let's go ahead and lay Herald before I forget again. Before I end up dying. I have so many deaths this game, man. I want to finish my green jungle item, so I'll go ahead and take camps over turret. That's what I'm saying. Like, Herald's actually low-key trash. It does not do enough damage. Morgana's alive in five. We got to respect that. I'll pull out here in a second. Never mind. Looks like a call I wants to wants to do something here. Auto auto into Q behind. Get him with the fear. Down he goes. He's really squishy against us. It's almost like I'm kind of fed. Oh, 
I couldn't really do anything there. Oh, this is Morgana's snares, man. They're heat sinking missiles. Hey, Jen. <laughs> I'm a heat sinking missile, too. That's kind of funny. Can put some pressure on this guy. Morgana's kind of messing around over here. Very cool, Morgana. I hope that raptor was worth it because you're literally dead now. Okay, never mind. JK, dude. JK. Just a prank. I'll attack into Q. He's gonna try to pull me towards this turret. We're gonna just flash that. Seriously, Jace. Oh my gosh! Like, what is this? <laughs> There's Swade. I was. I thought he was going the other way. It's costing me a lot of abilities. I'll attack in the queue. What do we have here? I need to get the dragons. This should have been our dragon soul, but I've been messing up so much. I've been playing past me bedtime and my mom's going to beat me. <laughs> They're going to pull the internet. <laughs> oh, man. PTSD moments. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, man. Those were the days. They were gonna pull my 10 megabyte down, 0.25 megabyte up internet. The colossal threat. Dude, just even sewing threatening to get on Google Images was a threat. Because one Google image would just dump it up to like 200 ping. <laughs> Alright. It's about time to fight. Yeah, what is this Morgan? This Morgana is really forcing the issue here. I'll attack into the Q. Auto R. We already had him feared, so our R couldn't really miss there. Yeah, Swain, this is not going to be good for you. I have lethal tempo. I'll attack QE. Down you go. That is GG's, my friends. One does not simply recover from getting wiped like that. The moral damage inflicted alone is... Not really, uh, not very easy to handle. Not easy to cope. I want to get the dragon. I don't really care about kills or turrets right now. Because if you get the dragons, you can take kills or turrets whenever you want. I'm running out of time to get this before it's too late. Bork's definitely solid here. They have many close quarter champs. Like when Morgana R, she's close quarters. When Swain R, she's close quarters. And obviously Nocturne and Jace get up close. There he is chasing some kills. He has better solo items to fight Jace with. Jace is somewhat kiting him out though. Alright, it's time to reset. Hopefully I don't lose my blue buff. All right, very nice. I'm tempted to go Gargoyle, but I know the item's just not for Warwick. I'm just bonus health. Yeah, it's just not for Warwick, unfortunately. I'll go Spear of Shoujin, screw it. I want some low cooldowns for Q spam heal arenos and swing throughs so they can't jump, dash away, flash away. Plus your Q heals you a lot anyways. You heal for 75% of the damage dealt. And, uh, yeah, it's maxed out 75% versus it's 25% base. Be a huge difference. The red buffs up. I should go with the Darius here, back him up. Looks like it's probably happening topside here. Can't even tell. His thing's supposed to just show through the darkness. Maybe they changed that. Because normally you can just scan the map and find it. Hello, friends. That snare was very strong versus me, Morgana. Very good. 
That's the funny thing about Warwick. If you get off a good R and you're well positioned, you can make snares look absolutely useless because you fly straight through them. But if you're out of position, one a snare makes you look like crap. <laughs> wow, we have a thousand shutdown gold. If they kill us, they get a thousand gold, even though I've died so much this game. It's kind of wild. I don't want to reset. Darius has pressure on the map. I want to back him up. Even if he really shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, I can't save him. Never mind. I'll just push mid. He's too deep. Give him 500 gold from that one death. Rip. Hey, we can get Shojin. It's time to reset. I'm on a pretty big power spike right now. My items. We are on four full item plus green jungle items. It's been finished for quite some time. The only thing that kind of falls off is Celerity Water Walking, even then. I mean, it's not quite as good as conditioning and revitalize at this point in the game, but still it can help with finding R picks since your R gets longer range the faster moving you are. Oh, hey, Jace. And goodbye, Jace. Oh, he's right there, all right. Q through, he doesn't get to knock me back. That's how it's supposed to work. When someone tries to displace you and you hold down Q on work, you go straight through it. Knockups, knockbacks, hooks. Yar goes through everything, as long as you haven't landed yet. You still soak the damage on both, but uh, going through the CC is most important because he heals so much from simply auto attacking. If they can't stop you from autoing, they usually can't kill you. This is a weird fight. Jace is dead, so it should work. Hey, Swain, smite. Auto, auto, Q. That's a double fear. Hey, Morgana, nice snare. It was even spicier that time because I was almost dead. <laughs> by Nocturne and that I believe should be GG's Darius forces back the Jinnar very nice go ahead and pop my W might be able to find something with a flash yeah it, yeah I think he realizes hello Jin take the turret boys yeah, Shoujin's interesting. It's a really interesting item. Having 46 ability haste plus the AD. Very cool. Go ahead and pop W. Morgana's not stepping up. And that is GG's. We'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt to champions, we had the most in the game at 33,000. Not bad. For damage taken, we took the most in the game at 44,000. Not bad. For runes, ultra high value all in all. Warwick Jungle Swifties, I think definitely is a great option if you're the only real engage for your team or if you're trying to maximize your early game gank potential because you feel like the lanes are very gankable, which I really think they were that game. It's very fun. I highly recommend at least giving it a try and figure out when it works for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.